Welcome back for session three of our first day of speakers for this week's gigantic, ginormous Procreate event. It's been such a fantastic first day of workshops. Literally, I was watching the comments while I'm getting warmed up here, and everyone's like, I've been loving these sessions. I'm looking forward to this one. Just a ton of positivity. So we are super, super happy that you can join us today. And when I say us, I do, of course, mean myself and the wonderfully lovely Peggy Dean from, is it Pigeon Letters or The Pigeon Letters? Is there a It's The, but I mean, no. it, it's interchangeable. What I should do is just coin both websites and have them mm -hmm. sort to me, but I'm not that smart until right now, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a lost opportunity. I'm really, oh, really pumped God. to have You're you with us. <laughs> I'm really excited to have you with us, Peggy. Um, Peggy is just enormous in the digital lettering world. Um, you know, provides a ton of value via her platform. She's been on with us before. Any kind of old school design cutters will remember the infamous session we had, I think, earlier this year when things went a little bit wrong, but it was very amusing really for a lot of people. people People email me regularly waiting for us to do this again. So I don't know if I want it to go seamlessly or if I want it to be a hot mess again. It's just like, what What do the people want? <laughs> well, we've proven we're versatile enough to roll with the punches either way. <laughs> exactly. We're, we'll we see how it, it goes. Um, also, don't worry if Peggy looks uh, like she's currently being filmed on a potato because she's very out of focus. I'm seeing <laughs> no, the same I thing. No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing the same thing. In, in all of the testing, her, her iPad screen's very sharp, so it should be a, a good demonstration. Um, but yes, <laughs> without I see further ado. Perfectly. And I see you perfectly. Well, I, I, I know what you look like, thankfully. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> Peggy, what are you going to be sharing with the lovely community today? Yeah, so we're going to play with one of my, like, about a year-ish ago, I got I started getting really obsessed with this one particular style of real gritty um, texture lettering, but doing it in a way that showed depth. And um, after discovering this particular brush set that is on Design Cuts called, I think it's Rough and Raw, right? Rough and rough. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today. So <laughs> that's what it's called. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know it's fine. Um, but yeah, like that was one of those brush sets that I was really uh, excited about. And I haven't shared a lot about it particularly. That's why I'm excited to dive into it. But yes, we're using that. If anyone wants to follow along, grab it now so that you can get it installed. But basically, we're going to be going through, you know, um, you can use whatever you want. But let's be real. You want that one. Um, uh, Peggy, check the comments. So uh, Jimbo, who is one of the creators of of rough and raw yeah just commented he's like yay so i legit think yeah jimbo had no idea he's just tuned into your session he had no idea you were using his pack for this demonstration oh, so that's pretty cool i am i hope i do it justice <laughs> because then you're like what is this girl doing is this pack all sorts of jankity um you know that's my how i roll and i just play so there no i know that's what that's that's how these brush sets are made <laughs> But yeah, it's really fun. It's really, really simple. And to be honest, like it kind of cuts out a lot of the work in the beginning of texture because it starts with texture. And that's why I wanted to do this one so that we're not sitting here forever making all the texture on our first layer. So you'll see what I'm talking about when we dive in. It's going to be fun. Basically, you don't have to be a hand letterer. Obviously, that's a whole different skill in itself. You could do this with illustration too. Um, but I'm just going to do a lettering piece and make it look amazing. All right. Well, without further, further ado, would you like to share your screen? Is it, am I fuzzy, you guys? Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Don't know, that's so mean. What's this weird fuzzy woman doing with my brush set, says Jimbo. Although Jimbo didn't say it. Dana was saying it for Jimbo. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, I think anyway. she means it as a compliment. <laughs> I know. I look really good. Tom was joking with me right before we jumped on. He's like, well, I told him that I had to fix my eyeliner. <laughs> and he was like, are you this blurry? Because really, this is like your beauty filter and you're trying to make it so that everyone thinks that you're beautiful without <laughs> having to be Chris. Although I'm perfectly clear and so is Tom. So shut your mouth. Go shut gorgeously down. pixelated. Um, all right, let's 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 jump in. I can't wait yeah, to see this. You got, me, you got me intrigued. 
Okay. I'm going to do technology. Here we go. Here, I'm actually really good at it, but it's just like the in between where I'm like, no, I think it's um, definitely a compliment. You're fuzzy and you're still freaking adorable. There you go. Yes, there you go. Um, okay. okay. Um, so this is my screen. It's not blank. Don't worry. Um, first of all, can everyone let us know? I know there's nothing on it. Peggy, do you mind like painting a. Yeah. A can everyone marking? see that? That looks perfectly sharp to me. Can everyone just confirm? Does that look nice and sharp? Hopefully it does. Super okay, dope. Hopefully. Let me know. Also, Peggy, I'm seeing like the little recording um, box if you're able to. I don't know if that disappears or moves off to the side or anything. Oh, so you are seeing it. Yeah. Okay. Let me go over there and... Cool. <laughs> That's one of those things that I notoriously keep on when I do um, screen recording <laughs> for tutorials. So I'm like, hey, everyone, uh, here's this recording box that you're going to watch for half of the video. Okay. <laughs> so you guys have um, Procreate open. And uh, I'll just show you real quick for those who are super, super new to Procreate. Most I do this for vanity's sake so that you can all look at my beautiful artwork and then compliment me later on how cool my virtual sketchbook looks like. No, that's a joke. Um, it's a bad one. I have <laughs> so many bad ones. Uh, but you're going to open up a new canvas with the plus symbol on the top right. And I'm just going to go to screen size because I'm feeling lazy. If, just keep in mind if you want to actually, OK, cool. See, people are super new, so this is helpful. Look at me. Um, if you want to print something, you want to make sure that your canvas is according to uh, the correct DPI and whatnot. You can see that, sorry that I'm going to go into this, but I'm really thorough, so you have to deal with it, Tom. Um, I love it. <laughs> if you want to uh, save them, you always can do that. You can see that I have these saved ones um, that are named. So I have like 9 by 12 and 300 DPI, 10 by 14 D, 300 DPI. That's just for me so I can do quick reference instead of just what the standard Procreate comes with. And then I also have like digital ones that help me for later so I don't have to remember pixel sizes because let's be real, those numbers don't make any sense to a lot of us. Um, except unless you're shaking your head like, yes, it does. It makes perfect sense, Peggy. Well, guess what? I'm not tech. Um, so I'm going to select a new canvas up here. Uh, okay, it looks like I'm not going to be lazy. Um, but you can do this in like inches or centimeters or millimeters or whatever pixels and just put in what you want. Um, I'm not going to do this. I don't want to. But see how DPI says 144. I believe that's standard. I would suggest always making that at least 300. I usually work, I mean, you can see my canvas is 300. But if I'm doing print work, I do 400 or even 600. So. I mean, it's totally unnecessary. Notice that my maximum layers is going to change when I change, uh, let's say, 3,000. See how my maximum layers just went way down? That's something to keep in mind. The larger that you work, the less layers you will have access to. And um, uh, what was I going to say? That I guess I'm going to create this after all. Um, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. I'm going to screen size. Uh, that's important when you are working with what we're doing because we're going to be working in a lot of layers today. So that being said, welcome. Um, we're going to use the Rough and Raw brush set. Good job having plenty of time to go and download it before we got started. I'm proud of all of you. Okay. Well, I, I can so, see a bunch of people already have it because it was super popular when it launched. So anyone okay. who has the pack, or even if you don't, you can learn a lot. iPad at the ready and just get ready to jump in. You can literally follow along live. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay, so this brush right here, this brush icon on the top right, it's in blue, means it's already selected. Um, you'll see rough and raw on the left hand side. You, it might pop at the top, it might pop down at the bottom. Um, just a quick note for those of you who are new, I know this is not a Procreate lesson, but just it's a quick thing. When you download brush sets, they're going to show up on the left. If you download individual brushes, you're going to go all the way down, you're going to see this little imported and that's where you're going to see individual brushes that pop up rather than brush sets. So it depends on the file and how somebody has programmed it. Jumbo's awesome and decided to go ahead and do the brush set because it makes way more sense. And look at how many brushes are in here. The other thing about it is look at how textured they are. Shut up. Um, so monoline stamp. This is similar to those of you who are familiar with um, Procreate's standard brushes. I have the ones that I use. I re I resorted this, so it's in Procreate Originals. I don't remember what it's usually in, but Nico Rule 
or roll or whatever. Um, it's similar to that, but the difference is the Nico roll looks like this, and so there's a little bit of texture in it, but the thing about Jumbos is check it out. Sorry I keep calling it Jumbos because now people aren't going to know what it's called if they don't. Oh, thanks for putting it in the chat. Okay, so Rough and Raw set. The model line stamp, similar, but check it out. Look at all that texture. Shut up, it's so good. Okay. So good. Um, so they, we're gonna... they love texture. So it's Jimbo and it is his girlfriend, Taya. And they're just yeah. like the sweetest couple in the world. I think you'd actually really like them. And they are all about the texture. We're going to be best friends after this, now that he's getting to know me. He's probably like, I'm not talking to this girl. <laughs> I mean, you, you might get jealous because Jimbo has more lustrous and flowing hair than any human I've ever, ever met. But apart from that, he's great. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. I will be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing, guys, is I'm going to do a lettering piece and... What you might notice when you're doing lettering is that it can be a little difficult to keep on a straight line. And I want to keep on a straight line because this is not a brush pressure sensitive, um, pressure sensitive brush. And so I want it to be nice and smooth. So to do that, I'm going to go to this wrench icon on the top left. I'm going to go to canvas on the top left also, and then you'll see a uh, drawing guide. I'm going to toggle that on. Quick note, you can go to edit drawing guide and you can change the settings here. You can change the color, you can change the size of the grid, etc. cetera. Um, so I'm just going to make that a little bit larger and then say done, I've got my drawing grid on. Second note, this is not in a layer at all. This is just a guide. You can see on my layers, I have nothing there. So if I was to export this as is, it's not gonna show up with the drawing guide. Cool. Um, so I am going to say making it up as I go because that's exactly what we're doing here. And what to note about this is that you want to make sure that when you're using these brushes, so see how, I'm going to make this a little larger so you can see it better, but see how if I was to just kind of hover, how it's basically magnetized to the, um, the direction that my uh, Apple Pencil is going into. So that's why I want to make sure that it's nice and clean and sharp at the bottom and I lift up right away. So that's the thing about this type of brush. But after that, you can, I'm just going to do this quickly because I'm not teaching lettering. Um, and I'm making it up as I go. Really good jokes. Um, so yeah, you just letter whatever piece that you want. Um, don't worry too much if you don't have enough room. Um, the thing about this though, I know a lot of us are used to adjusting our sizing as we run out of room, which I'm totally gonna end up doing. Um, don't resize and then keep going because it will change the width and whatnot of the brush and then it might be hard to match. So what I do is I just go on a different layer, I move these as far over as possible because I'm making it up as I go. Um, the other thing that I like to do is work in layers. I, I can talk this much in the beginning because we're saving so much time not having to add all the texture to this first layer. So that's why you're getting a lot of me this morning. Um, or this Even afternoon. that looks amazing. By the way, I'm guessing, is that Lucy in the background? Oh, the tap jam thing? Oh, do you see her? Yeah, is she yeah. Practicing? She is yeah, a little bit. Not. I was going to say um, that is very much Peggy's dog. She's not kind of practicing for an upcoming audition or something beneath the desk. <laughs> if you hear her kind of scampering. Well, the thing is, she sleeps under there all day until I start talking or filming or something. And people that take my Skillshare classes know, and they're just kind of <laughs> used to her by now. And I don't know why I don't just put her outside of the room. I know it's annoying. It's super annoying to me when I hear it. I just like to start it, cringing. But... No, I, I like it. It's all part of the ambience. Let's roll with Lucy. I think she just likes procreate, <laughs> to be honest like the rest of us just get, getting involved <laughs> it must be it must be um the other thing that you might have noticed me just do is i just created another layer um it up when i talk and do this i tend to write the wrong word and then it's like what just came out of me who knows um <laughs> the reason why is because that way i can isolate um which layer i'm moving so like it up I can just move that up like so, so it's nice and sandwiched in there. And then the other part is you can select two layers by, you can't see my fingers, but what I'm doing is you can see the blue layer is selected. I'm going to the layer underneath that with one finger swiping to the right, and then it's gonna select both of them. And then I can select the arrow key and, um, or arrow, whatever, select tool and get it up there. And then I know that um, my guide is what I'm using. So as I go, 
looks like I didn't run out of room this time. I did when I was, uh, whatever. I don't like this. Uh, whatever I'm saying, I did run out of room earlier. Neat story, Peggy. Okay, as I go. <laughs> it's fine. All right, there we go. So whatever you have is perfect. You could have one word. You could have a quote. You could have making it up as I go. Um, it's not going to be like a funny or a cute thing after this, after I say it a million times. I, I like the expression. Uh, Lauren just said, I'm so excited to buy another brush uh, off uh, I know, so on sale. I have almost all of them now. She's collecting them. They're not Pokemon, Lauren, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. Well, listen, They're all really I, good. It's one, of those, it's one of those like cherished things we can do for ourselves that costs like two copies and then we can have all the fun forever. So yeah, you should own all the brush sets. I, I actually know I, so I, many people personally that own every shout band brush set. They are like oh, yeah, I'm sure. Um, quick tip, if you're working in a lot of layers, you can do the same thing where you select them all, say group, and then collapse them, or, you know, and that just helps you organize. You can name these too, but, um, okay, so that's all I'm going to do for this, and then I'm going to go over to my wrench icon, turn my drawing guide off because I don't need it anymore. Um, so when you're happy with this, I'm going to collapse all these layers because I like, well, no, I'm not, not yet. Okay, wait, now I am in two seconds. Okay. I know that was just like the minor, minorist, that's a word, um, <laughs> adjustment, but whatever. All right, so I'm just going to collapse these. I can do this by, I'm going to the very top with my finger my and then my at the very bottom with my thumb and I'm pinching them together and that's going to put them all together and then I'm going to do satisfying. This, right? Mm -hmm. I know. There's so many satisfying things about Procreate. So I'm going to swipe to the left, say duplicate, and then I'm going to change the color. You guys, color is not important right now. This is just like to get things separated. So while you might have, does Jimbo also have, is he the one that did the lettering kickoff pack? Yep. Okay, you guys. You have to, also, sorry, but you have to also get that brush set because they did palettes. I don't know if I still have them in here. Um, Maybe they did. Oh, yeah, look at you guys. Color palettes. One, two, three, four on the bottom here. That's their palettes. Like they Pretty. put these together so that you can have like the best palettes ever. Um, so yeah, get that. Anyway, uh, color doesn't matter because you can change it in real time. I'm going to show you how to do that at the very end. But right now I'm just going to select uh, a new color. I'm going to drag that over and just drop it. Um, neat thing, two things. I guess I will show you the things. See how it's only showing up on up. If you look at the top, color threshold says 97.6%. Um, I need to, I have not let go of my Apple Pencil yet, so I'm gonna drag that to the right to make it 100%. It's gonna cover everything. Another way to do this, which I was gonna show you at the end, but looks like I'm showing you now, is if you wanna color something in real time, just go to the little wand icon on the top left and then go to recolor and then make sure that this little plus symbol is on what you want. Go to your colors and then you can do it in real time which is really, really helpful when you have a whole bunch of colors and you want to see what's harmonious because dragging and dropping all down day is like not anybody's favorite best friend thing to do. Okay, from here, I can select, I can move this layer to the bottom if I want that to be my drop shadow color or I can keep it as the top, it doesn't matter. The point is what I want to do is duplicate the bottom layer. When I duplicate the bottom layer, I'm going to drag the bottom layer with the select tool to one direction. So this could be anywhere. It could be to the left, right, um, whatever, for the, whatever reason, I always drag uh, to the right and down. It's just what I do. I don't know why it's my thing. Okay. Me too. Um, yeah, what is that? I don't know. Um, it it seems reason, like I almost heard. inhuman to do it the opposite way. Yeah, I know it, it doesn't does. sit right with when me. I see, when I see a drop shadow going like up into the left, I'm like, who is this person? Yeah, I'm like, like you crazy maverick. Like, you calm down. <laughs> Barbarian. Um, so <laughs> from here, I'm going to, so just like I pinched and merge together. I can do this with two layers. I um, It's actually a lot easier to do this with two layers instead of pinching, just to select it, the top layer, and then say merge down, and then it will connect them. Why am I doing this, you might be asking yourself out loud to a friend. Um, it's because when I do this with everything. So whether I have texture or not, no matter what, I like to merge them because if I am working in 
like a solid color, for example, what I'm doing is I'm connecting corner to corner. So if I'm like, I'm gonna make this brush a tad bit smaller so I don't mess this up. Oops, I wanna make sure I have the same color. Quick tip, you can hold down and um, with like your finger and then sample a color. It makes it really easy. Uh, another quick tip, it's also in your history, in your colors right here. I'm pointing, you cannot see me pointing. Make sure you're on the bottom layer. Okay, so I'm gonna connect these two together. So yeah, while that has a ton of texture and I'm gonna fill it in that way, um, when you don't have a texture brush and you're not co like coloring it in, so to speak, or let's say you have a much larger gap because, Lucy, can you lay down? <laughs> um, because because uh, you have a skinnier brush or whatever, this is where it's going to really benefit you because when you connect them, then you will have, let me make this super, super small so I can give you an example. So let's say this brush is really, really small. I can drag and drop my color to fill that like so. So cool. that's where it comes in. Happy. And I know everyone watching it right now is thinking, oh, but look at that, the texture is still seamless and there's no line. And it is. Of what? Yeah, like when you have these super, additional markings, right? It, the yeah. texture actually maps to the hole instead of being like an additional bit. Yeah, and it's it's glorious, is what it is, and it's buildable, yeah. which is really nice. So, like, I could go, um, you know, something like this, and let's say I want to cover that up. Well, I can build upon it, and um, it's not going to mess anything up because it is all. Gorge. I don't know what I was saying, but you get it. Okay, so, oh, that's what I was going to do. That's why I was trying to think of, I was like, I'm going to instruct something, but what was it? Um, so I want you to pay attention to where to fill this. So you're like, how do you know to fill all these things and you're doing it so fast, Peggy? Well, that's because um, you'll see, basically just think corner to corner, exactly the same direction that you just did. So, you know, you can't see me pointing, but the eye, the top right and the top right, those are the two I'm connecting, top right to top right, and then I'm just filling everything else. Um, and then this is bottom to bottom, basically like where does this eye end on the right on each side? What is that mark that I made? <laughs> I just saw you make that, I was like, hmm, where are you going with that? <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> All right, well, let's get rid of it. Okay, um, <laughs> you saw me make it? How embarrassing, I'm so shy. Uh, uh, Honestly, okay. I was watching for like a brand new Peggy technique that made no sense. <laughs> no, so I just do these random marks in here. There's gonna be a special effect for later. Just trust me. I think that it's always interesting to see where people are gonna take something. You're like, okay, well, I guess I'll just follow along here. Um, quick note, something I noticed that I did that I don't like is that I kind of balled up the tittle, fun fact, I love fun facts. The eye, the dot on the eye is called a tittle. Um, I balled it up here and I kept it square here. This was intentional, I, I mean, this was intentional too, but I just, I, I personally, that's gonna bug me so bad. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna fix it, but uh, I just, I, lettering and consistency, you know, like if you're gonna square off the edges, square off the edges on everything, Mm -hmm. um it's gonna it's gonna make it a piece a lot more cohesive so quick tips fun things um another fun tip and i'm just filling time right now doing this is uh you can oh to pay attention to <laughs> to uh your what we call like so so let's say i realize these colors are not working to, oh they kind of working better on that screen than this screen but let's say you're g let's say you're g and you're doing a, a ascending or descending stem loop and then you have an h and you're doing an ascending stem loop i'm just going to show you what that looks like real quick now that i started talking about it even though i'm done with what i was doing so that's an ascending stem loop and here is a descending stem, uh descending stem loop um something to pay attention to is the distance here and the distance here and the distance here and here not the best arrows to use but um that's also going to majorly help with your consistency because if you have it too thick and then one's like too long and skinny, it just starts looking like handwriting and we're not writing. We are drawing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't do it. How did this happen? Didn't I do these? Did you guys watch me do these? I felt like I did these. Maybe not. No, you were on the P, not the G. 
What a weird thing. What a weird thing with me. <laughs> You're throwing uh, me off. Um, by the way, super quick, because I can see the team are investigating. We had a couple of people asking about whether um, our platform recognizes if you purchase something and prohibits you from buying it. Um, and currently not, but please, please flag that team with the wider team because it's on the list. We want to fix that because we recognize that would be a nice thing. So we're on it. <laughs> Peggy, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, this is super weird. You've disappeared. Like we can see your screen, but you've disappeared, so I can't see your face. What? You can Where, hear me though? Yeah, I can hear you. So everything's good. But I mean, it wouldn't be a buggy oh, and live stream. It is. It's beginning. It's right? This is the calm before the storm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so real quick, I'm noticing this is kind of muddled. They can see me. Thomas oh, they can see you. What? Yeah. Why? Are you why does it hate us whenever we go live? There's something. Are you jealous? Do you want yeah. to go on FaceTime so that you can see me side on the side? Well, a little bird told me that you just applied <laughs> some absolute killer eyeliner, so I feel like I'm missing out, to be honest. But I did. Let's I know. Going. All right, everyone okay. can see you. All right. So I went to back to my first layer because I want to differentiate these colors a little bit more. Um, it's a trio that I know works, the colors that I'm using, but... Um, not always stacked the way I stack them. So I'm going to my magic wand is what I like to call it, even though it's not a magic wand at all, not in any way. But <laughs> if you guys know Photoshop, you know that I'm being ridiculous and it's not actually funny. Um, it's fine. So wand-ish looking tool, recolor, and I'm going to select that and I'm just going to change it. And then I'm going to put a background in here to help me work. You guys don't have to do a background until the very end. You also don't have to choose colors until the very end, but I'm doing it. So you're going to deal. Um, um, I am selecting a new layer. The reason I'm not doing it on my background layer is because uh, I like to work in this way. <laughs> Chop me. Um, so I'm going to select the color and I'm going to use, um, gosh, I think I used the same brush or maybe it was the charcoal when I was doing this first. Um, so I'm going to make that real big, real, real big. I'm going to make this real small and I'm just going to go over it. Um, as seamlessly as I can. Okay, maybe it wasn't that one. I think it was on a line stamp that I made real big. Yeah, it was. Because I just like all the texture, okay? Um, if it's too textury, go over it again. And then you can see, if you zoom in, that you still have all that texture. It's just not so concentrated. Um, so then I have my three colors that I love. And I don't know if I like that combo or that whatever, and I might change the order, but who cares right now? You can see it. Okay, now comes the really fun part, and this can be applied to any brush or any way that you just made happen lettering that we just did. <laughs> That's an order of a sentence. And yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you can use different texture brushes, whatnot. Um, but what we're going to do is select a new layer on top of that one. Then we're going to select it and then say clipping mask. This is going to help us work indestructibly. I'm all about an indestructible workflow, even though I am impatient and lazy, but this took no time, so let's do it. Um, the other way that you might be familiar with is by taking two fingers and swiping on the actual layer that you're using, and then it's gonna only affect, um, like whatever you're doing will only affect that layer, but we're not doing it that way, so I'm gonna un-alpha lock it, if it'll let me, there we go. Um, and use a clipping mask instead. And then I'm going to sample the color that I'm going to add this texture to, which is the bottom layer. So I have that green color. Go to my colors and just get it darker. Notice that <clears throat> on the non-destroyer of worlds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying Dana. Shout out to Dana in the comments. She's cracking Dana's up. Always the, I'm going to tell you, Dana's always uh, the best in these live chats. Like she mm -hmm. is the chat, she's the chat ruler of worlds. Um, okay. So basically you can see that on my color wheel, I've got my current sample color on the left and then I've got the new color on the right. So that seems dark enough. I'm going to go with it <clears throat> and then I'm going to choose a different texture brush. Um, I like dirty sponge a lot. I also really like half tone. I didn't use half tone when I was doing this, um, but I wish that I had. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, oh no, 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 no. There's a reason I didn't. I think I was doing it for the background. Okay, just kidding. Pay no attention. Go to Dirty Sponge um, or any texture brush, but Dirty Sponge, let's be real. Okay, so now on my clipping mask, make sure your clipping mask is selected and then you are going to. Now, of course, you can do whatever you want, but 
it'll help to go to think about things in the direction that you put your drop shadow. So like, I'm going to pick the bottom or the right or whatever. Um, so the bottom here, you can see that uh, if I add texture to just the bottom part, it starts to add this dimension, okay? It's awesome and it's buildable. So if you have a situation where it curves like this, you can put a little bit here and then just build up toward the bottom more and that way it looks like it's more of like a natural flow whereas this is going to be stuck on the bottom fret not if you get some of it where you don't want it because cleanup comes after and i save it for the very end because it's an oddly satisfying thing so we're By going way, to a of people um yeah people can't see you now peggy but can, weirdly i can, can you see, see you I, yeah, everyone can oh see your screen, gosh. but now I can see you and no one else can. How do you feel now, lovely people in the audience? The tables have turned. Yeah. Are you all jealous of Tom? <laughs> 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 do you want me to take a picture and then put it screen in screen so you can see how good my eyeliner looks right now? <laughs> Okay, um, so I'm going to go radio silent for a second so I can take a sip of my tea while I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. You know what I think it is with the tech glitch? Mm -hmm. You're just such an incredibly popular character that we always see enormous numbers on your live streams. And there's a ton of people here. So I think the poor internet gets overwhelmed. That's what I'm putting it down Gosh, to. Gosh, say more nice things about me. Oh, um, I'll that's, stop. <laughs> that's really sweet. Well, I'm actually interested in Crowdcast because I've, I've done one webinar ever and I did it via Zoom and it wasn't my favorite, but it was like, you know, manageable. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm not going to go into a story. It would be so boring for everybody. Okay, so um, <laughs> basically what you're <laughs> seeing me do is go up and just kind of build this out. And um, notice that, yeah, while I hit the bottom of all those areas, I'm also going to hit the top. So like this uh, little shadow hidden tunnel thing in the A, and then the shadow hidden tunnel thing in the M. And then I can kind of just lightly flick the brush so that it also extends further. Um, cute trick also is in case, okay, I'm not gonna fix this right now, but it does bother me that I don't have them even the tittle. Uh, I, I, to be honest, Peggy, I've never seen such flagrant disregard for titular consistency <laughs> in all my days. I can't believe you do that on a live stream. I, you know, I, I know. It's a rough, it's a rough thing of me. It's a, it's a career choice I'm making right now that I might go on record for, and I'm just going to accept it. And then this is going to be so, so different. This is going to be so, so different on this one. And you know, it's cringeworthy for a lot of us, I realize. But listen, this is a teaching lesson, and teaching lessons are always way worse final work than if I was to, like, really do the work, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say that and pretend that I'm a lot better than I am. Um, okay, people don't come to me for my art, okay? They come to me for this stuff. <laughs> um, listen, what I was going to say was, um, let's say you don't like how dark this is and you want it to be, like, darker, um, more, more, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can change the color and then do it again, or you can use that handy recolor tool. Just make sure that the plus sign is over one of these specs. And it sounds hard. It's actually really easy um, to do that. And then you can recolor in live, live time, and then you can see how I'm using a lot of this. I'm building up a lot because I like a lot of um, depth in here. And then I'm going to do it again. So you have to sit through it again. Not this long, don't worry. Um, you don't have to sit through it. You're doing it too. Don't lie. Uh, we're playing together. Um, so yeah, I'm doing the thing. This is great. And I'm going to do it again, but yeah, you can recolor it. So cute looks awesome, but here's the thing. What I want to do. Oh, look, I missed this little, little tunnel guy in the K. Um, it's good to shrink everything so you can see it from a distance. So you can see if you like everything, if it looks good to you, if you missed any areas. I'm notorious for missing like a fill sometimes. I have a, ugh, it's, I have a library of them. Um, okay, so this is a really, 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 really satisfying part. I'm gonna go to my eraser. Did you guys know, and we're not gonna do it with this one, but did you know that if you hold down your eraser, just hold it down instead of just selecting it. It will choose the exact same brush that you were on. Neat. I did um, not know that. 
Oh yeah. Same thing. What a like great hack. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so I will show you real quick. So let's say like this area might be too um, saturated. So rather than going in with like the same color brush as the main background, you can just erase with the same brush. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll make it real big. Mm -hmm. um, but see, and then it's just like softening it. So neat trick. Um, That's cool. And makes things uh, a lot easier. You just inspired me because we're on like content mode so much at the minute. Yeah. Uh, the team behind the yeah. scenes, can we make a little note and do like a kind of collectively contributed resource article video about Procreate tips and tricks? Because whenever we do these sessions, like there's one or two where mm -hmm. everyone just gets that mind blown moment. So I'd love to com oh my consolidate them yeah. into like some master resource would be cool for the community, I think. Yeah, like if you read the chat, so many people didn't know that one thing, but like that's what I find all the time. Can I show you guys a quick trick real fast? This blew my mind. Okay, I have to show you because it was like, it's something recent, recent. So you have to have a new canvas that you're ready to go to. So I have these two blank ones, but you know when you're working and you have to like, you wanna duplicate a layer, you wanna like take portions or you don't wanna like duplicate a whole project, you just want some of the layers. So you like, you duplicate the project and then you delete all the other layers. Watch this, I guarantee you that 90% of you didn't know this. All right, um, I just learned it. So you select the layers that you want and then you you hover and you drag them and you don't let go. You go to gallery and look at, they're still there. You go to your new canvas and then you release and then check it out. I don't have my clipping mask on, but check it out. If I clip a mask, it won't be there. But there it is. It's all in the new canvas just like that. Can you believe? You're welcome. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I, know. I like it. Um, yeah, no. okay. that's so this good. is the sad part that I was telling you. So I'm going to go to Rippleizer because I like that it has some texture on the edges. Totally not necessary if you want this to be sharp, but I'm a texture. I was going to say I'm a texture queen, but now I'm embarrassed. So I'm not going to say that. Okay, so I'm going to zoom text. in. <laughs> and then I'm going, see, look at people are stoked to know. I was so excited. Okay, I mean, you, so I'm kind gonna... of, you, you build it up, so I'm glad that you delivered. <laughs> To be I know, I'm really good at that. <laughs> okay, so it does use the blending modes, but you can just reapply them real quick if you just know what they are. But like, yeah, you get it. Um, okay, so I'm cleaning this up now with that brush. It's pretty standard to be clean. Um, so see how there, I'm just going from corner to corner, just above it to make that sharp. Now when I go smaller, look at the difference. Like it is sharp. It's obviously structured. I'm not going to do that on the curves. I'm only doing that where it has this like nice sharp edge. And that is going to make these awesome, like structured 3D letters. Um, and it's like the coolest trick. Cause like if I zoom out, you can see the difference with making like just the subtle difference of it versus the rest of my letters. So it's just a matter of like keep keeping that sharp. Same with stuff like this. Like I, I did a pretty good job ish. I should have connected all the way, but like um, where this splits, I actually do want to show you that because Am I on the right one? Yeah. Um, so let's say I had it all over the place. I want to show you what this looks like super sharp. Okay, so check it out. Like it's when it gets sharp. Look at, look at, it's so good. Um, Ooh, okay, so please, I just. Sorry, I, I just cut myself on that, Peggy. Cut <laughs> Dad joke. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I never, it takes me forever. Good job, Dad joke. Um, I used to hate here puns. Are we. This, there's no puns happening right now, but I used to hate them, like hate them, despise them. I think I'm the only one. And lately I've just been like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> like I just really get a kick out of them. Um, okay, the so, you, well, you know um, Becca from Happy Ever Crafter. I know. She's like the queen of dad jokes and puns. So when we had her on the podcast, it was just back to back with those. I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> we need to get your pun game yeah. up. I believe it. I know she always, she's, she's, I, whenever I see a good thread of them, I just email them to her. Like, I don't need a response. I just need her to know. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> um, I want to show you something that I noticed right away. Do you see this mess right here? This is because I was not sharp enough when I lifted up the initial layer. So to fix that, all I have to do is go to the bottom layer here, stay on my eraser, and then I can just whoop, clean it up. And it's gonna clean up all the layers because all of those other things are connected to a clipping mask. So they are um, good to go. So that just cleans it up a little bit, just a quick tip. 
All right, so from here, you can do the same thing. So if I was to select this and create a layer on top of it and then select it, say clip mask, it's not gonna clip to the layer beneath it because that's also a clipping mask. So it's gonna clip to the layer beneath that because that is where the base is. Now I'm going to get this even darker and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm not gonna as far because I don't, I just want it to be just enough. And I can clean this up again in a minute. I'm just gonna make it smaller so I don't have to clean it up because this is just a quick extra depth. And I don't do it the whole way. It's just toward like the center of where that um, shadow is beginning anyway. So just a little bit. So see, you can move a lot faster, but see how like if I was to zoom out, it just makes all the difference. And the reason I need two colors is because I don't know if any of you, oh man, this is a bad metaphor, but metaphor is comparison, not a metaphor at all. I'm so Go embarrassed and shy again. Um, okay, so if any of you know about building an eyeshadow, you wanna make sure <laughs> I'm that you start with your face. <laughs> You start with your base and then you build it up and you can use like seven colors and make it look like it was really only like, you know, one color, but it really makes all the difference for when it pops. Um, I did hair and makeup for 10 years. I know it's weird. Okay, real quick. I also you noticed that. You really like uh, Jonathan from Queer Eye as well. That was <laughs> I love him. Great oh my oh, he's, he's my favorite. He's everyone's favorite. Yeah. He's everyone's favorite. Okay, so I'm just cleaning up the shadow area that I didn't clean up the first time um, on that layer beneath that, because I noticed it. That's one of the nice things also oops, about working your pieces is you're able to catch that stuff. So um, you're welcome. Oh, here's another one. So I didn't connect those two on the A. That's something I'm noticing now. So I can just go back to that layer grab that color, go back to that original brush and check it out. This is gonna blow your mind. Okay, so I'm pushing it in here. Whoops, I want the right brush. And you'll see that I don't have to apply, oh my gosh, it's so big. Um, I don't have to apply any new texture for the most part because um, I was messy in my initial application of the texture. So anything on the clipping mask like while it might be all over the place, it's going to apply everywhere else. Does that make sense? I just kind of didn't explain that very well, but basically you can I, apply. I think I've spent enough time with you that it does make sense. <laughs> but let us know in the comments. <laughs> <if it does. laughs> basically like I can apply texture right here, but I can also apply it to the left of the G and you're not gonna see it show up. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm doing it to the left of the G, you're not gonna see it show up. And then I go back to that initial layer that things are clipped to, and then I can add stuff, whoops. <clears throat> I can add stuff in there with the initial color, and then you will see, where is it? Oh, to the left of the G, right there. Um, you will see that it did, yeah. Good explanation, not. Nailed it. I'm usually, <laughs> nailed it. I said that to um, this kid. I don't remember where we were at, but it was like when that show was getting really popular and I said it because I wanted to be really cool like him, like he was like 10 or 11. And he's like, have you seen that show? And I was like, yeah, of course. And I'm like, it's a show. <laughs> I didn't even know. I was just saying nailed it to be cool. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> this helps. Um, you can obviously like, take this even further so like I can drag it up here and make your texture all over the place um, another quick thing that I like to do and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to take up all of your guys's time but another thing that I like to do is do a color sample do even another clipping mask and then make the color a little bit lighter and then just add a little bit of like speckle on the right side so see how that just like it just creates added texture it's like super super basic but like you know, when you zoom in on art pieces, like that's how you know somebody is a pro if they pay attention to the details. So be a pro. Um, look, I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it so fast. Um, okay, so now my next thing I'm like committed. I'm like, gonna get through this. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll talk slow so I can get through it. Oh man, I have to finish. Yeah, it's fine. We're, we're all here for it. One of my favorite things about your sessions is okay. how genuinely proud you sound of yourself. 
<laughs> and as you can probably say, Sean. I don't yeah. know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. Most of my live sessions, like, okay, oh, this is so bad. I'm admitting it to how many people? 991 people I'm admitting that I get up as I go on most things that I do live. I did do a run through of this one because um, I did, but <laughs> I like genuinely do. And then I'll just like totally fake it. And I'm like, but if this happens, you can always do this. And I'm just rolling and I'm like, oh my gosh, people probably think I'm a total fool. But yeah, you have to own your confidence and then be really excited when you do the thing. Of course you do. Oh. Yeah. If, if something kind of messes up, you're like, yeah, this is just a new technique I'm playing with called abstract shadowing. Is yeah. that the whole new thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what you didn't know. You didn't know if it was coming and you would have trusted the process. Um, okay. So lastly, what I want to do is I want to emphasize the background. So yeah, there's texture there, but how about more texture, huh? So that's where I'm going to use half tone. I promised, I know. Yes, yes, please. I promised half tone. So we're going to do it. Half tone. I'm going to sample the background color and then I'm going to go to my colors and I'm going to make it lighter. You can make it darker. You may lighter. You can do whatever you want. Just make it different. Um, and then I'm going to go to the layer. It could be the background color. It could be the layer that you chose. Um, background color is not going to let you add the texture. So <laughs> um, then I'm going to select or add a new layer on top. I don't need to do a clipping mask because this is covering everything anyway. So then I can go through. I'm going to test the half tone. I'm going to make that larger. OK, so you can see if I go real small or I mean <laughs> real big, um, it's going to look at that texture it adds. Oh, it's so good. It's so delicious. OK, so I'm going to make this small enough to where it's an easy fill on my hand. So I'm not going all over the place. You can't see it as well. I'm sorry, but I'm really kind to my wrist these days because whoa, tendinitis. All right, so you can see how I added a ton of texture. If I zoom in, ton of texture. Oh my gosh, nice. it's so good. It's so good. This is like texture porn, okay? I, I feel like all when right. you first discovered Shout Bam was a good day. <laughs> I'm guessing it was a good day. You know, I don't. I didn't realize that Rough and Raw was Shout Bam Jimbo. And what is his girlfriend's name? Taya. Taya. Yeah, yeah, I had no idea that this was their brush set. So this is like extra exciting <laughs> I, to me. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to organize. Like you know, I have calls quite often. Like we chat quite often. Um, mm -hmm. I also chat to them pretty often. And so there's an overlap. Yeah. You know, when you're in Zoom and it's like, oh, these people are waiting for the next call. Mm -hmm. Next time yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna let them in so you guys can all meet because quite often we overlap. <laughs> yeah, I wanna do that. I wanna do yeah. that. I need we'll that, that in my life. Yeah, so that we can virtually hug. Um, okay, you guys, what I just did to add the texture, you can do that to your top layer, of course. Um, I'm not going to, I think it looks awesome and super sharp and yay me. The other thing you can do though real quick is since we're here and I'm taking your time because I want to, um, I can swipe to the left and say duplicate and then change that color again. So I'm going to sample the top color, make it a little darker. And by little, I mean kind of a lot. Okay. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it. And then I'm going to uh, push that to the bottom and then check it out. I'm just going to select it and then very slightly come it, uh, come it, come it off to the side. That's not how you speak. Um, push it off to the side and that just adds like a little extra oomph to where you can, to where you can differentiate. Come it off to the side. Uh, come it off to the side here. What is that? Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, where, uh, it just emphasizes the lettering more and makes it sharper. I personally don't love that because I like things to look a lot more flat. It's just my my jam. I'm not a, I don't know, it's a thing. Um, okay, lastly, lastly, I think I said lastly like seven times. I'm going to go to the layer where my texture is on top of my background layer and go above that one time. Now, I'm going to pick... Um, any a color, any color. So I could choose like a dark green, or I could choose like um, you know, like an army green. I think I'll do because that would be that'd be hot. Let's be mm -hmm. real. Be the and best. then I'll go, to, yeah, random crumbles. Okay, you guys, this one, gold. All right. So I'm gonna make this large and then check out. Boom. Okay, that was too small and too whatever. Okay, there I pressed harder. Boom. Okay. Do that a few times, or you can just drag it a little bit. 
drag, 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 just to dirty it up, okay? Um, that's a little bit too dark for my, what I'm trying to do. So I'm just, oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> shut up. Um, now I'm going to go to my recolor tool so that I can make that a little bit lighter. So see, this is what I was talking about. It seems a little bit hard when you want to change the texture, but see how, like, you're going to find it. Okay, look, I found it. So now I'm going to just lighten it up. And then, oh, that's good. It's just a little bit understated and like, whoa, mm -hmm. you're welcome to the texture. Boom, done. Love Who's happy it. to answer questions? <laughs> Mic <laughs> drop. All the questions. Apple pencil Mic drop. drop. <laughs> oh, and then the other thing too, you can always like change the colors by doing the live recolor like we did. I'm pretty happy yeah. with this because it's like a cool tone green with a warm tone green, which shouldn't make sense together. But whoa, did we just make it make sense together? Yeah, we did. Do you guys want to write down the hex codes? You're welcome. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> we got <laughs> this one. Okay, D2D900. And that's going to be your, I don't even know, the olive. And then Thanks. we got this F. This is something that's just the nerdiest thing in the world to anyone outside of like the design or coding community. Okay, it's just, it's the color that you can plug in. So see how I'm on value in the color wheel? You can change, like, I'm going to go to white right now by selecting hex and just going F, 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 F. Done. Okay, and then look at, see how I just selected white on my top right? It's now white. Um, you're jealous that I know the hex code for white. Okay. Okay, and then <laughs> lastly, 77DB92. Um, if you missed those, watch the replay. You're welcome for this color combo. It's mine, and no one owns color palettes. So use the colors that you want. Has Peggy been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd see that. You guys, okay, wait. So Tom told me, do you guys still want to see this, or can I show you my face now? Go on. Let's go back to the pixelated face. I miss it. <laughs> I miss it. Um, okay, so <laughs> for the first time, I'll show you this again. Don't worry, I'm going to go back so you can look at my beautiful work again. Um, because sometimes people just want to like make notes or screenshot or save it forever. Okay, so listen, the first time Tom, he told me this like six months after we ever talked because I think that he was silently judging me and then never telling me about it. But the first time that we talked, he told me that he was like, I think that this girl is like a major stoner um, because, <laughs> because I was laughing about everything. But you guys, do you want to know a fun thing about me? Yes. I'm sober and always have been, and it's not a moral thing. It's not a religious thing. I just have a control issue like, whoa. So this is me in all of my glory, not drunk. <laughs> Tea, Which... lots of caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> which is staggering because you definitely have like better energy than anyone I know when they're drunk. Oh my gosh. You're, you're like fun Bobby and friends, but you're sober. You remember that dude? <laughs> um, okay. Before we get into Q and a and uh, massaging Peggy's ego further, can we just <laughs> massively give it up in the comments for another incredible session today? Um, thank you so much, Peggy. You know I love you. Oh, Thank you for coming guys. on and always being yeah. awesome. It's absolutely my pleasure. I'm so happy to. I hope that you guys learned a ton, um, especially in your workflow. That's the most important, I think. So, yeah, you might learn a new technique, but the workflow is, like, the biggest thing. It's, like, you know, in just, like, uh, thank you guys. Gosh, wow. I want to screenshot all. this so I can just, and in I fact, know. Let's, let's, I'm going to be your hype man. Let's really <laughs> blow up that comment section. So if you're here and you've watched live, at least leave one comment because Peggy's been super generous with, your, with her you time. You guys are so. so sweet. Stop it. Um, don't stop. No, uh, <laughs> but you know, like um, workflow, Photoshop, Illustrator, Procreate, there's like a million ways to do everything, but also there's tricks that we will like always learn so like whether you know something or not even if you're taking like a super basic lettering course by, from somebody mm -hmm. that's like for beginners take it like learn and be a sponge because i guarantee you there's something in there that like you just didn't know that you could do and then you're like oh my gosh my mind is blown my workflows got, got cut into a third and this is the best news ever because then you just gain some time back you're welcome although you kind of didn't because then you had to watch that whole session but like you know what i'm saying it's fine. 
it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Um, I mean, the comments are still coming. Like, if you ever have a bad day, just come back to this session and read back through the comments. <laughs> I so know, I want to. <laughs> oh, man. This is like so much nicer than YouTube. You know where you shouldn't ever uh, upload videos? YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. The I mean, trolls, the trolls, they are alive and well. We, we have so that. many <laughs> friends here at Design Cuts who are enormous on YouTube, and they're like pumping out value every day, being so generous. And then people ignore all of that. They ignore like 10 years of hard work serving the community, and be like, you look kind of dumb at like, five minutes 31 or something it's like oh great <laughs> i know it's so true like <laughs> waste of time like yeah. okay well, don't yeah. watch the whole thing then cheers like, you don't Glad have you to it. listen to me i try really hard though somebody said i was going kind of fast and I, I that is good feedback for me because i try to go fast uh, ish because i know i talk so much that i mm -hmm. want you guys to have constant value in what i am out there so that you're constantly learning even if I get chatty because I have ADHD like I'm gonna get chatty um, so in my Skillshare classes you're gonna find this kind of stuff across the board plus a million so if you are not I know this is a shameless promo sorry Tom not I, sorry but you're, if you're not my job. I was about to shout you out <laughs> <laughs> okay good um, oh you want to see my cat she has a little eye infection so don't judge her face she's actually really cute but oh, right. it's, so let's, let's bring her up. it's pixelated it's gonna distort her eye Oh, kitty, they Where can't see that raise you, raise you up <laughs> so you can fly on mountains. Like, oh, she's sweet. Um, Okay. What was I what, say? What, what, um, oh, yeah. Hold on, two seconds. While you're singing to your cat, um, if the team can link up all of Peggy's uh, platforms, Skillshare, website, Instagram, she's kind of everywhere these days. Kind of a big deal. Um, <laughs> right up on the shoulder. I love it. Um, yeah, let's link up all of um, Peggy's platforms. I know we got a, some of Peggy's audience here, I think, as well, but there's a ton of design cutters out there. Um, some people saying they're discovering Peggy for the first time. Um, oh, you yeah, guys, sorry. Mm -hmm. I have go, go, go. Quick, the Skillshare, Skillshare is actually skillshare.com slash R slash the pigeon letters. That's going to give you guys two months for free. Oh, damn. So instead of, all right, let's amend instead that. Of where a user is, it's um, an R. The, mm -hmm. the letter R. Nice. So that will give you two months for me. Cool. And the comments are blowing up so much. Let's kind of just re-paste those links several times. Um, but everyone in our community has to go follow Peggy. Apart from being a lot of fun, she also brings a ton of value. Her website is just like this huge, I can't pay attention with the cat like nuzzling me, but it's amazing. Um, it's a huge repository of just endless content tutorials and good stuff like that. So. <laughs> Beth just went, wait, you're the pigeon letters? <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, I sure am. And I try to be as fun as possible, you guys. I'm going to tell you a quick, neat story that's not really a story, and it's called Art Totally Saved Me. I used to have the worst coping mechanisms, like the worst, and like art saved me. I'm completely self-taught, but then like the whole thing about it is that um, – I just want people to experience that same joy. Like, there's nothing yeah. like it. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. <laughs> no more that. No more. Dangling. I think she, she's trying to like go in the air at this point. Well, I had an earring, and she was trying to get it, but now she's trying to get my hair. Isn't she precious? She's <laughs> on me, and then she just purrs and purrs, and it's the best thing ever. Like. Okay, so I'm sorry to talk shit about my cat Edie, but little Edie does not, she doesn't sit in my lap. She like likes six pets and then she leaves. And then I got this kitten and it's just like, she push and she sleeps in my neck. And I'm just like, this is all I needed. This is all I needed in my life. And it's just the best thing in the, in the world. So other than art, it's the kitten. But like, yeah, Jackie said, art is such a joy and a lifesaver. And it is. And like, whether you're, for whatever reason that you're doing it, you could be doing it just for fun. You could be doing it for a thing, you know, like a, um, a thing, a career. <laughs> but one, like, of the, one of those. Seriously, you could be doing it seriously. But I'm going to tell you what, 
I didn't realize this was going to be my career. And I personally am like a shout it from the mountain type person extrovert. I want everybody to love what I love. Um, it gives me like sick validation. So like it's totally, <laughs> but that's like, I love teaching for that reason, but you might love something else about it. And like basically doors can open that you never realized could open. And they just complete, like they just, com they consistently open and they just consistently grow. And whether that mean a new medium or, you know, a new, just whatever it's going to fill your soul like never before because it's something you can be creative about you're going to constantly make progress with and then oh thank you about my eyeliner thank you're you. still pixelated for me everyone's saying that you're clear it, oh i look good oh, <laughs> I, I got half a second you just kind of pouted went clear and then went back to pixelated it's fine um but anyway back to my TED talk uh, <laughs> Uh, it, it is it's just it is really gratifying and then you can be proud of something that you made with your hands and the validation it's it's interesting because you don't need it from other people like it's nice the community is awesome and like that's what I say Instagram is for like don't don't these are not these are not numbers for any reason other than vanity so find your community on Instagram but don't worry about all the other noise it's it's listen to biz buds tom's podcast and you'll like learn all the things more about that but um basically like the community is amazing art's amazing keep learning the stuff keep doing the stuff i don't remember yeah. why i brought this up but basically like yeah that stuff I, we need to get you back on the podcast so for anyone who doesn't listen to the honest designers show that's kind of design cuts main podcast we had peggy on it was a fun episode as i'm sure you can imagine well, you're kind of clear that is strong eyeliner. I see Thank what you mean. Do I look down? You, that's you really see the sharpness. So I'm just going to like, exactly. I'm in it and then you're like, ooh. Yeah. Ex expertly done. Um, again, let's give it up for Peggy. In fact, I forgot about Q&A. This has been so intense. And weirdly, I've never seen so oh. few questions. I think this has been one of the highest retention rates, one of the most comments from any session, and everyone's been so into it, they forgot to ask anything. So, Am I going to um, cry? <laughs> okay. So um, what have we got? We've got... Uh, da, 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 da. Somebody asked me how I came up with the pigeon letters, and this is a, mm -hmm. a question I get a ton, and I will just explain really fast. So back in the day, um, pigeons are one of the smartest birds and they were one of the first domesticated birds and they have homing abilities so back in the day when like snail mail wasn't a thing like it's about to not be a thing again in america um i got my opinions sorry <laughs> uh <laughs> save the usps um but before that was a thing for anything back in especially war pigeons would be transported to x location with a message or um whatnot they deliver the message they'd get a message tied to them again and then they would fly back to where they originated from because of their homing ability and be able to deliver a message or a letter to you know so these were like crucial like super important things that people would pay attention to um I don't, yeah, I was reading and, the, and, and, and now you only get them doing that in like John Wick 3, <laughs> if memory serves. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne just launching up. Anyway, yeah, I didn't know that was the origin of your name. Yeah, so like I, I, and, but that's where the pigeon letters came from. I wanted to do something with pigeons strictly for the fact that I'm obsessed with them and they're my favorite animals. Birds are my favorite animals. Pigeons are my favorite birds. So it just, it was like, Okay, I guess that means that pigeons are my favorite animal. They're like so fat and plump and like the way they walk and like their coloring and like, it's just, oh, they're so cute. They so, are, you're gonna be very jealous. We've had basically a bunch of pigeons cause we live in an apartment, take over our balcony to the point we've been like bullied back to retreat inside our own apartment and it's their territory now. We kind of oh, dare interfere. But, so you know, precious. they're like getting together. They're coupling up. I'm pretty sure they had some babies. I don't know. That's their space now. They've taken it over. That's so sweet. Yes, they are all actually doves. So pigeons are actually doves. So all of you hating on city rats or sit, mm -hmm. like the bird rat, it's mm -hmm. actually a dove. So what do you know about that? It, um, it is basically a, a dove with like street smarts. Right. So it's even better than doves. So mm. You better reverse that thinking. Crows are really smart too. Um, so the pigeon letters is kind of like a take on the pigeon post. And it's essentially me thinking that I'm delivering really important stuff. <laughs>
Which you are. <laughs> it's a form because I'm a yeah. hand letter, but I'm also an artist. So like, it's it's just like this really clever thing that came together because I'm really clever. Are you, are you saying it's kind of like a really poetically um, conceived yeah. name that cloaks really uh, an inner narcissism? Yeah. That, that... yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's really deep. And yeah. Every time you do it, you're like, I'm doing a good job. Um, no, I, I think that's very apt because you do bring so much value to the community. Um, and I didn't know that. I've, I've known you and your site for a long time, but I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going I'm to do, we're just kind of wrapping up our first day of speakers. I want to do a super quick um, yeah. Oprah moment here. Dana in the comments you've been very entertaining um well everyone has but Dana, you've made us laugh and smile today so please hit our team up and we want to give you a free procreate brush anything you yes. want from this event uh you get a brush you get a brush so uh dana hit our team up and they can organize that <laughs> what was that you cut out for a sec dana's at community she no i was just really excited she's she shows up she dana shows up in community. She, does. she also is awesome um she does embroidery like uh fiber arts and she's rad um so you should a peacock and fig right am i right cool Check, yeah, check. I like it. Dana, get in touch. But um, yeah, a huge thank you to Dana. A huge thank you to everyone. There's been a ton of people yeah, that have joined this live session. So it was much. fun, right? It was really fun. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys are my people, and I'm so happy that you're here. You know, you know how many of my team have separately, like, not provoked, been personally messaging me during the session, being like, we need to organize like a weekly Peggy and Tom thing because oh they're enjoying people, you tom people are saying that to me all the time people are always <laughs> saying to me you and tom need to do a thing you and tom need to do a thing you and tom need to do a thing and i'm like tom bucket is full 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 <laughs> so um fun fact for the uh <laughs> this is showing like the real loyal people that are still here at this point <laughs> um but fun, fun fact peggy and our other halves were meant to all meet up this year in London uh, and all get to hang out and, and go out in London and, and show her the town. But we had to postpone it because of COVID, which sucks. So we were going to be like real life best friends and not just best friends. I know. We need to make it happen. Um, Peggy, because um, this is an event, I'm going to get back into professional mode here. Okay, me there too. Go. All right. Um, <laughs> thank you warmly and kindly for joining us today, Miss Dean. We appreciate you. Um, no, thank you so much, Peggy. That was amazing. Um, yeah, we do appreciate you a ton. Again, let's relink all of uh, Peggy's. There you go, Adrienne. Saying, if we can relink all of Peggy's stuff, everyone go follow her and support her and all that good stuff. Um, and then Peggy, I'm going to be super rude and kick you out in a sec because okay. you don't want to hear me banging on about the uh, rest of the event, no doubt. But we're catching up. When are we catching up next week? Hopefully. Um, we can talk about that later. Um, cool. Yeah. You, you guys. <laughs> At um, some point. Yeah. You'll find everything on the pigeonletters.com and also everything that you guys are kindly putting in here. Um, so, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so, 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 Incredible. so much. And, and seriously, thank you for showing up. Not for me, but for you. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm no, it, it sounds so cliche and so like corny, but thank you for showing up for you because that's what this is all about. Okay, I'll leave now. Bye. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks so much, Peggy. Chat soon. Bye. Have the best day.